past 22 years, professional photographer Craig Holmes from Brisbane, Australia, has demonstrated an eye for the unusual. So much so, his work has gained international recognition. We've had quite a response from overseas, uh, London. Uh, we had uh, work exhibited in the uh, Photographer's Gallery in London, and uh, a publisher picked us up there and has published me in um, three or four books. Usually when a, when a commission shoot starts out, we, we get given a brief, which is in, the, in a plan, in a drawing, an artist's impression of, of the end result that the, the client wants. This is Carla, everybody, our makeup Hi. artist. Hi. And she, she's, um, she's here to put on makeup. So, so for the first hour or so, you'll be with Carla getting makeup on. Does that sound? And the idea of having this makeup on is because underwater, obviously, you're very pale. So we're going to give you quite a super tan so that it'll, it'll look right in the shot. So it's yeah. full body makeup. This particular shoot was commissioned by Telecom Australia, sponsors of the Australian swim team in the Commonwealth Games held in Canada, and also the world titles held shortly thereafter in Rome. My most recent commission was the Telecom shoot, and uh, it was quite a challenge because we had, uh, we had to time uh, three models underwater, uh, one a Telecom worker kneeling on the bottom of the pool because our pools aren't very deep, they're, they're quite shallow, and uh, at the same time, uh, have two two swimmers swim over in, in synchronised strokes, so that um, so that their stroking was open to the camera, just as um, Ben, our, our telecom worker, was giving the right cheer, and it was sort of cheering on the Australian swim team. With the casting, it's very important to get people that are going to give us uh, that look and. Um, uh, you know, we need someone who's going to work really hard for us and, and have a commitment to the shoot because it's extremely hard work. They can't wear aqualung and, um, and if they are using compressed air underwater, it's, it, yeah, it could be a little bit dangerous. So, so we do need that commitment from our models and, and I tend to push them, you know, to very hard. You know, like we, we might do travel over the same shot, you know, a hundred times to get, to get the right shot. I use a, a camera in, in a housing with a dome port which allows me to use, shoot wide angle uh, shots and, and get uh, getting close to my subjects and unusual uh, sort of images from, from uh, working close with my subjects. It's uh, wonderful feedback I get from people. Yeah, it's great. Uh, they, people, uh, people sort of have an affinity with water, which is uh, an, a natural, it's almost emotional uh, feeling with water. And, uh, and it, it's, I suppose, unusual imagery because, uh, because I'm focusing on, on the human element of, of underwater photography.